Hickok 45, and here I am again with this rifle. Yay, that's what this video is called, again. Yes, we've done a range two, and I think a chapter two, and I just have to confess, I wanted to get it out again. Yes, yes, there's that word. I, I mean, I, I get it out occasionally, not often enough, but if you're not here when I get it out, you know, I just don't feel right about it, you know? Because I know some of you would like to be here and see it uh, getting fired, right? <laughs> yes, the LWRCs, you know, the uh, the 6.8 A5 and 6.8 Spec 2. It's a very nice rifle. It's one I... Uh, so yeah, this is an again video. It's kind of a selfish video, I guess. Uh, I think a lot of the again videos really are. Uh, I mean, hopefully they're rifles or they're handguns or shotguns that, that you all like. But quite often it's just something I want to shoot again. And I don't want to leave you out of it. So we'll keep it short, but I just want to shoot this thing some more over here in the Gong Club range that many of you support, right? You're the reason there is a Gong Club range. You're the reason I exist. Okay, <laughs> at least on this range, right? So take a couple of shots. I've got the, uh, uh, oh gosh, yeah, the aim point. I almost forgot which uh, <laughs> uh, red dot I had on this one. And uh, I'll just take a couple of shots. 6.8. I've got the got her set there. Yeah, kind of where I want it. Got 30 round mag in it, and I just messed up. I didn't have that mag fully seated or something. Let's uh, check it out. And see what is going on. There we go. I might have had it overloaded. That's the John's usual trick. Yeah, all right. What should we shoot? Well, we can't shoot this close steel, but we can go bowling without any trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feels pretty good. Oh, uh, let's bowl a little more. Let's go over there and uh, hit the red plate on the left. About the one on the right. Pretty nice. Let's we'll shoot this target. <laughs> I like this round. It's got a little more punch than a 5.56. Five, and uh, I don't know, maybe similar to an AK round. And But it feels good. I bet it'll even penetrate a two liter if I hit it. I have a, such a good trigger in this thing. Woo! Nice. Oh, there's another bowling pin that needs to go down. Oh, I can't shoot it from here. I've got to go over here and hide. Let's get tactical. There, that's better. That's better. Let's try the red plate from a tactical position. I think I was shooting low. Let's try, uh, let's shoot that target a little faster. <laughs> yeah, even though it's got a pretty good punch, uh, yeah, I mean, you can rack them right out of there without too much trouble. And these magazines that I've gone over before, I will link to the uh, other uh, videos, but they, they do hold 30. They're a little bit wider. They look like a standard AR mag but they do have the 6.8 on them. They're just a little bit fatter, okay? And so you're still able to get 30 rounds in them. And now that requires this uh, particular mag well, this lower, you know, on, on the LWRC. So it's a nice, it, it mates up beautifully and everything. Uh, you could argue it's not as practical because you gotta have, you know, this type of lower and, and everything and those mags and all that. There are some of you that fire this cartridge out of a regular, kind of an AR, uh, and you, uh, you just don't get as many rounds, you know, in the magazine, but, but I, I wanted this set up. I, I like it. And it's, it's a nifty little round. I should have brought, well, I've done that before, I guess, compared it with the A556, uh, you know, five, five, but it's a little more punch to it. And I, you know, since having this out for a video the last time, I've been seeing more articles about the militaries, you know, having adopted the 6.8 or 6.5. I think they've gone to this round or one very close to it. I don't know how long that will take to, uh, 
you know, for that to actually, uh, you know, filter out into the entire military community that where, the, where it's going to be used. It's like any adoption or any new round, new firearm. It takes a while. I ran into a, at a gas station just a couple of days ago, uh, a former Marine up and I was up in Clarksville and he was telling me about, we were talking about pistols and how some of the, uh, some of the units and guys, they've got, still got M9s. They've got some of the, the 1911s. Uh, some have the, uh, the new SIGs, you know, it, it just takes a while for all that to get out there. But I don't know, uh, as I understand it, the decision at least has been made to go to a cartridge like this. If you know more about it, you know, jump in there, especially if you're in the military, you're in the know. Okay. I'm usually in the category that don't know category, <laughs> but I have read that is the case. Let's shoot a little fusion. Okay. Some of this federal fusion. I, I can tell from looking at it in the magazine, it's got a little more of a, a flat tip on it, the lead tip there. So if I pull one out of this box, guess what? It'll look just like that because that's fusion. <laughs> so a good little hunting round, yeah, haul ground or you know, whatever. All right. And since we have it in there, we might have to use it on the watermelon here. Okay. All right. Ambi controls all the way around. Nice. Okay, watermelon. <laughs> uh oh, finishing off the stool as well. Two liter. No oh boy. Takes care of that without any trouble. Oh, you know what? We've got a wall down there. Let me grab another magazine and we'll put some of this. Oh, I'll, I'll put fusion on it. I think I have a, yeah, another one with some fusion in it. Let's, uh, let's uh, <laughs> defuse that wall. It's about gone already. Not a lot left of it. <laughs> a cloud of dust. Can I see anything to even shoot at? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> nice. Nice. Let's put a little fusion on the red plates over there. Oh, man, this thing has a nice trigger, I tell you. Uh, I like the color too. That's the only reason I, uh, I wanted this firearm. Pretty color. Yeah, that's cool. Oh gosh, what is that called? Uh, Patriot Brown, I think, comes to mind. Patriot Brown, I believe. Then uh, it's just really nice. I like that darker, darker look. So, and again, if you haven't seen the other videos, uh, you can go back and check those out. I'll link to them. But uh, when I got it, uh, I had to twist the barrel a little bit. It got hot. I put some rubber or leather gloves on, and I just twisted it. That's why it's got that uh, that look about it there. Okay. So, if you believe that, you'll believe anything, won't you? Well, let's see. Maybe I shouldn't shoot the Fusion. Yeah, let's shoot the Fusion. We appreciate it, Federal. It's nice to know that it will function in this rifle. I'll put a couple on this target and we'll go. How about uh, that red plate? I'm going to shoot through that tree in my way. That little, uh, what's left of a tree. <laughs> I hit it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you can really crank them out. I'm going to put one or two on the gong. It is AR-500. But, uh... Ah, put the last one on the gong. So, uh, it is AR-500, but of course these are, you know, I don't want to just... AR-500, especially in a heavy target like that, where it doesn't give much, uh, it will do a little damage over, over time. There's no reason to just batter it, but it is nice to be able to shoot with uh, something a little warmer occasionally. So anyway, I just wanted to get it out again. And, uh, and I'll say, like I say, I always feel guilty we don't invite you all along. Okay. 
because uh, y'all are such a big help to us. Uh, you do so much for us by watching, and you may not even realize that, but you make uh, this possible. So, uh, so please keep tuning in. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I get so many messages from people who say they got unsubscribed or they're not getting notified. I need to start reminding folks in, in, in videos. I see other people do that all the time. I see why. Because I get barraged with messages about people uh, not being reminded or notified. Uh, as I understand, you've got to click, the, click on the bell. Like when you watch a video, you've got to go up and click on the bell or you won't get notified necessarily. Okay, so anyway, if that helps. Uh, so we want you coming back. We'd hate for you to miss something really exciting like this. Yeah, we really would. Anyway, we appreciate y'all watching a lot. We appreciate you supporting the people that support us. And uh, as you know, videos are pretty much demonetized, you know, uh, as far as ads. Uh, occasionally, and it's, it, it's, it depends. Uh, about two days after we post one, it seems like that's what happens. And uh, the video we did recently on guns of 1876 for example it took i think it wasn't even quite two days you know and it's always so it's almost funny you know hilarious to read that you know this, this video has been deemed unsuitable for advertisers you know and it's guns from 1876 a double barrel shotgun lever action five or six shot cold single action so anyway it's the way of the world these days but uh, we appreciate you all and we appreciate you supporting the other people that support us and make this possible so Hang in there, man, and we'll see you again sometime. Life is good. Hmm, that's not bad. Oh, hey, just measuring this 15-shot group. Um, since I've got you here, I want to remind you to check out our friends over SDI and Talon Grips. SDI is a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can become associate, get an associate's degree in firearms technology or become certified in gunsmithing. So check them out at sdi.edu. They also accept GI Bill, so be aware of that. Talon gun grips, uh, you may be aware of those. Uh, Dad's been using them for a long time. Essentially a grip tape that goes around the grip of your handgun, just like this, around the grip, and uh, gives you a much better grip, and you're not stuck with basically the grip that comes from the factory um, on the pistol, uh, because it's not like the old days with 1911s where you just change out the grips. A lot of these more uh, uh, modern handguns don't give you that option, so you have to either just stick with what you got or wrap something around the outside. So check them out if it makes sense for you. And also, don't forget to go to our website, Hickok45.com. We have a bunch of stuff over there for you guys to check out. Uh, we actually have our videos now on GunStreamer.com, so please check that out. Don't forget about our social media. Don't forget to look in the description also. There's a lot of information there. The description of the video and the website, Hickok45.com. But our social media at the real Hickok45 on Instagram, Hickok45 on Facebook and Twitter. Um, there's John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram, but you can't guess who that is. Um, what else? I think I think that's all I was going to tell you guys. Oh yeah, our merchandise. You can find our merchandise at bunkerbranding.com. We have this shirt, at least as I'm making this video available. Um, and we've got some hats. Just go, just go check it out. It's going to change what we have available at different times. So if you like something, maybe go ahead and jump on it. Um, but the main thing is Hickok45.com and, and support the people who support us whenever it makes sense for you. And as always, I really appreciate you guys still watching these videos after so long and, and so many years. It means so much to us, and it's been uh, such a fun experience. And we appreciate you guys, and see you later.